So if you've had your blood work taken and your white blood cell count is 3.8 and you see that the lab range says 3.8 to 10.8, so you go, oh cool, everything's normal. Your doctor calls you, says everything's normal. But at 3.8, you probably don't feel that amazing. You might have fatigue, digestive issues, skin issues, joint pain, and more. That's because the lab ranges are based off the population that goes to get their blood work taken. And these lab ranges are changing every year. They're getting wider and wider. Last year, it was probably 3.9 to 10.7. I don't know, it's just getting wider and wider. That's why I like to look at blood work from an optimal perspective. So I like to see the optimal number between five and eight. If you're below five or above eight, that means that there's some type of pathogen, low-grade infection going on in the background of your immune system that's preventing you from feeling so good. So this is where you're gonna to wanna to dig deeper because your white blood cell count doesn't tell us exactly what type of pathogen or infection's going on. I have a free blood work guide where you can dig a little bit deeper, but if you've had a bunch of blood work taken, take my course, it's super affordable, and it tells you exactly what number is. If you've got your CMP, your complete metabolic panel going on, iron panel, get that and figure out exactly what's going on with you from an optimal perspective. Because if you're having symptoms like fatigue, digestive issues, bloating, joint pain, hair loss, skin issues, none of that's normal. And you wanna make sure that you're feeling optimal while we're here on this earth. So uh, dig a little bit deeper, look for your neutrophils, lymphocytes, monocytes, eosinophils, and basophils, figure out what type of pathogen or infection is going on, and then that helps you get to the root cause of what your symptoms might be.